Hey, need some Madden coins? Check out CheapMaddenCoins.com. They got the best prices, they got fast delivery, and 24-7 custom support. Be sure to use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. Yo, yeah, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Tex. I'll be back on the Mudhead team build. I realized I've done a lot of offensive team build. I think I've done three, to be exact. I've done nothing on defense, so I figured now is the time to go ahead and get to the defensive team build, especially because a lot of the cards they're dropping in Madden currently are budget beasts. There's some pretty amazing cards you can pick up for the low right now as well. So now's a perfect time. So today, we'll be doing a 1 million coin team build. Also in the future, I think me and Gut Fox are gonna link up and do a team build series where we gotta build a team around a certain budget. We're not gonna say who built what team. It's gonna be offense and it's gonna be defense and you guys are gonna vote on who had the better team for the budget and whoever loses has to give something away. I think that'd be something fun to do to end out this Madden season. So if you guys are looking forward to that, hit the thumbs up button and we'll get into that probably sometime next week. But today we got a 1 million coin defensive team build building around the most important chemistry there is on the defense, which is physical front. Let's get into it. So let's go ahead and put together our linebacking core right now. So we need a user. A user is most important. And at first, our middle linebacker was going to be our user, which is going to be this Mike Singletary 93. But when I realized that like he's not the tall, he's only 5'11", he has to secure tackle, which is really clutch, which is what I recommend you guys get on defense if you guys don't have it, because it really nullifies your opponent's entire running game if he can't truck you while you're trying to tackle. It's amazing. But he's a little bit too short to be a user, and with the high pass being as prevalent as it is sometimes in the red zone, um, yeah, this guy is not going to be out here making those plays on balls to break it up so he's just out here because he has secure tackle and he's going for a pretty cheap price 40k for a pretty solid card 86 speed uh, unfortunately he cannot get 91 zones so he's not going to be great but because a lot of guys in the game anyway don't really throw the ball um like to the middle of the field unless it's like a deep play like if you put that guy in a deep blue and cover two he'll be fine not the fastest again but he'll, he'll get the job done middle linebacker two picking up a guy that has dual kim that's gonna be the quan alexander uh, he's going for about 39,000 coins, 88 speed, he's great, you can use him if you want as well, 80 block shit, which is kind of low, not going to be great in run support, especially not having a secure tackler, so he's going to get trucked a few times, but he's just out here for dual cam reasons, and at the end of this, you guys will see, you can go find somebody else that has secure tackler, or maybe get a Nat card that has secure tackler, middle linebacker for you, because this guy is not really going to be essential as much as he was when I first put this together. So we got these two cards here, right outside linebacker. We're gonna be picking up Nigel Bradham of the Philadelphia Eagles, 90 overall. I was trying to somehow figure out a way to get the 96 into the line because this card was fun when I used him. Great height at the six foot two, 88 speed. He has great block shit, like he was great in run support. The only thing this guy is missing is an ability. I wish he had a power up set, but he yeah, ain't doing all that nonsense. So we're going to go with the 90 overall Brad of 86 speed. So he's sacrificing two speed in zone coverage, obviously, but it's still going to be solid in run support with that high block shit once he gets maxed out to tier five. At left outside linebacker, this is where we pick it up. Your user, we're picking up the Willie McGinnis because he's one of the best cards for a user in Madden. I don't know why he's basically Anthony Barr reincarnated or Anthony Barr before Anthony Barr existed because like he's six foot five and he has 87 speed. And he can catch, and he has secure attack. So we're going with the 92 overall left outside linebacker, Willie McGinnis. He's the best one. The 91 has toughness. The 89 has same speed, but has blanket coverage. And then the 80, what, there's no more? Okay, yeah. So yeah, we're going to go with the 92 overall, because he's going for 42,000 coins. If you got the extra budget, I still want to spend it on this 94 because the speed is better and plus he has physical front. So our linebacking core is set. Moving down the defensive line at left end, this guy is essential for everybody's team. If you guys have a God squad, make sure this guy is your backup because if Michael Vick's out here running around, you want to have at least a deep tackle that can sort of put him in, chase him down. Like you put him in a spy, he has 91 speed behind a lot of scrimmage. He can probably catch him. But you can spy guys that have like 85 speed against Michael Vick. That's not the smartest idea. Bo Jackson is one of the few guys that can actually catch him. Uh, so we're going to put this guy in that left end. Uh, and he has great block shit too. So if you max it out all the way to tier 5, he'll have, what, 96 block shit. That's fantastic. 91 speed, 96 block shit. That's damn near crazy good. Who's like, yo, that's a really good card. At D tackle 1, going with the best D tackle in this game still to this date. And that's going to be this mean Joe Green. That is physical front, Mean Joe Green. This card is still a budget 
beast right now. I don't know why B. Joe Green is the best he tackled in the game. Somebody said something to do with a lot of his like running back attributes where he could like do a lot of things other cards can't. This card, when I go against it in weekend league or mutt squad, running up the middle is always not a good idea. He instantly blocks sheds and hits you. It's it's unfair. His new Ultimate Legend card that comes out, whether it be limited time or whether it be a set, is going to be the best you tackle in Mutt like this year. I don't think anybody will be better than that card. So, Mito Green is here. And at right end, we're spending a lot of the budget on a card that I wasn't going to pick up, but I figure you have to kind of go heavy on your defensive line. Like, you got to be, like, you got to have a guy that can at least stop the run and get to the quarterback if the game allows him to get instantly block shed on certain plays because we all we know the four-man pass rush is dead this year we know the four-man pass rush means nothing you know that you got to send pressure to get to the quarterback consistently or put it on aggressive and i didn't want to sacrifice a great player because of the game's coding and that's going to be this jason taylor he's going for about two hundred and twenty-four thousand coins so we got 90 speed here with secure tackling. We got 91 speed here, which is just your spy for Vic if you play against him. And then at D tackle two, we're picking up Trevor Price because I, he wasn't going for much and he has times two to physical front. And I think he's the best times two physical fronter that will fit your team. There's another guy in the game, I think, uh, that played for the Broncos or played for the Bengals. I forgot his name, Damato Pecco. I think it's Damato Pecco. But he's like super slow. It's like like 55 speed. I'm like, I don't really think that's cool. Cause <laughs> I mean he'll stop the run, but like he ain't doing anything else but stop the run. At least sure price can kind of do a little bit of all. So he has that chemistry that we need, and he fits the team's philosophy, which is to stop the run and to stop the pass. And so right now, we are basically one, two, three, four, five, six, six players away from being maxed out. So again. The way I'm building this team, you can pretty much sub out anybody you want and get the chemistry that helps you out. So if you guys have a nap player that doesn't fit the chemistry, try to build the players you want and then add them later on. So right now, it's going to focus on our cornerbacks. At cornerback number one, he's one of the best cornerback cards in this game for the price. I'm not too sure if it's price to hold this long, but Dick Knight Train Lane is 95 with Takir Tackler. And he's going for 80,000 coins. Like, yo, that's a really solid card. If you guys can't afford the, the free one, I guess, if you're not grinding it, uh, this 80,000 coin one is fantastic still. Only 93 speed, which is still not the big of a deal. If you invert your cornerbacks and don't press, you're not going to get beat deep. Like, that's that's the only thing about it. Just don't press. If you press, you, you're liable to get beat over the top. If you decide not to, he'll be a great cornerback in coverage and also in run support that high hit power and high block shed cornerback to another guy that i really wish to get secure tackler and that is going to be jalen ramsey's 95 again 93 speed just don't press he can press but just don't press do not press and this guy's out here specifically to just kind of be dick lane but not be dick lane because if he has secure tackle he'd be dick lane unfortunately he doesn't so that's kind of way to cook your crumbles so we got those two on lock and then that strong safety we're picking up the Larry Wilson, because again, 4-3, you don't really need your safety to be out here hitting. You, you want your safety to be out here covering. And Larry Wilson with 93 speed has great coverage stats and has the range to play a lot of the field. So based off that, we have our physical front all the way maxed out. And you can do whatever you want with these two positions. So now I'm like, who can I add to the team that will fit in the budget? I know a lot of you guys don't got that Sean Taylor. I recommend you guys go out and pick him up just because he is great. If you don't want to play solos or play uh, squads, you got to force yourself to do it, bro. A lot of things in this game we don't want to do, we have to. It's kind of how the game works. None of us wants to play solos to get players or to get these packs. We have to if you want to play for no money spent. So go ahead and get that Sean Taylor. If not, uh, a nice substitution is going to be this Brian Dawkins. Uh, 94 overall Brian Dawkins, actually, because he fits the budget. This one's not going for much. 500,000 coins is a pretty reasonable price. But because we don't need the chemistry, we just really want the speed and the hit power. This Brian Dawkins has 93 speed, 93 hit power. Again, if he has secure tackler, one of the best cards in the game. Unfortunately, he doesn't. So we still have about 100k to spend so at cornerback number three we wanted another guy that has some speed and has a decent overall that's going to be mel renfro's 95 overall and you can go with blanket coverage or you can go with physical front whichever one that you want i don't think physical front is going to make much of a difference because it looks like on mel renfro he has what 
only 67 blocks yet, so it's not going to like be even better. But for speed purposes, if you get tired of like getting beat by John Ross on man coverage, or if you just want to have extra security out there for guys out here with a bunch of speed guys, um, 95 speed is still top tier for cornerbacks in Madden right now. So he fits under budget, and just like that, we are done. Our million coin physical front team build is complete. There's some improvements you can make, obviously, if you want to take out Nigel Bradham and then move Willie McGinnis over here and then put in Paul Puzzlezzi for 91 zone at left outside linebacker. You can do that as well. Or uh, you can go ahead and find some more creativity on the defense. You can take out Jason Taylor, find somebody that works for you and spend on your linebacking core. Because if you take out Taylor, you can probably put in a, what, Bradham right here. Let's see. Bradham. And then you can probably find a defensive end over here that's a budget guy that fits what you want to do. And you can make it work however you want. But that's what I decided to do. Hope you guys enjoyed this million coin team build. Post it out in the comment section below what the next team build I should do. It's Big Your Boy Texas. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.